Every now and then, we require our apps to actually retrieve some sort of information. That could be from the server or could be from the JSON file within our project. So the way this can be done within the React is that we are going to use um, JavaScript method, which is called as a fetch method. And it's a modern and a versatile way of retrieving information, or even you can use it to submit the information. So let's see how we can use it within our app. Um, to do that, we are going to actually, again, create one component, call it uh, fetchdata.js. And, oh, I have a mistake over here. I'll just rename it .js, and then we'll create a functional component, or, sorry, our class component, RCE. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have got this, so this is all good. Uh, to test whether it is success, it can be successfully loaded, I'm going to actually import this. Import um, patch data from component slash patch data. Now I'm going to create the component object over here. Then, okay, so we have component. This is functioning. Actually, it's working. Now, obviously, let's just create the constructor. Um, that's called super. Then um, let's try and use um, the component lifecycle, which is um, component that mount and then within it we are going to actually use uh fetch so uh, to do this we have an json placeholder api and the url will be provided within uh, i mean below the video uh we're going to use this to retrieve the information and we're going to use it along with the fetch Patch, uh, to read more about the fact you can actually refer the documentation attached with this uh, video which I'll also mention it uh, below this video and uh, let's start uh, retrieving some information so if you see it uh, if you see the guide that is provided so we're going to actually fetch requires some important information request URL you can say and in return it prom it give us a promise um, so let's just do that until the promise is full, fulfilled, uh, it can keep on running in and then, which is the reason we are going to use uh, then over here. So once the data is with us, then um, the data, we know it, it's in the JSON form. We're going to use the arrow function over here. And so it could be response and response, we know it is in the, in the form of a JSON, response or JSON. So once we have the response, what we can do it is we can again use it then. And this time we can pass on the data using the arrow function to, um, to for example, our, um, I mean, we can use the data to pass on to some, some state or um, even to the other components. So now uh, let's just first see in the console um how our data looks like so let's 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 just check uh, so let's just see um i'm gonna make it a little bigger so fetch the url link url link which is this one or you can say it's a, it's a sort of an api which returns this data then whatever response we receive we know it it's in the form of a json then we actually pass it the data to um, sort of an arrow function, which further processes it. Now, actually, we we need to open up the console. Uh, okay, so we go over here. We can see it's an array, an array. So there are how many? Like uh, almost like a hundred objects within them. User ID. Uh, it's returning as the body ID, title, and user ID. So it's like. ID, title, body, and user ID. So now you can obviously further use it. So let's suppose, I mean, obviously you need to loop through the array in order to um, show this data. So that's about it for the fetch.